I thought you'd have a stronger stomach than that. Come on. <sighs> Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. There's nothing left for you in Oakvell. And if you'd stayed, you'd be as dead as the rest of them. Come with me. My name is Maze, and I'm the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find nowhere safer in all of Albion, nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. Here we are. I'll introduce you to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. I have a new student for you. Put him in the dorm upstairs, with the girl. You don't look much like hero material to me, but Maze knows what he's doing, I suppose. Well, follow me then. You'll be sharing this room with Whisper, one of our brightest young pupils. She's playing in the woods right now, but you'll meet her in the morning. For now, you should get some sleep. Your training starts tomorrow. It's time to wake up. You must be my roommate. Hmm. Shorter than I expected. My name's Whisper. I've been here for a month. Had the room to myself till now, too. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Happens to a lot the first week. Some don't even last that long. You won't either if you don't get moving. The Guildmaster is waiting for us in the map room. You don't want to be late on your first day. Follow me. Hmm. Looks like the Guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. He's probably at the training grounds across the river. Let's go! Sup guys, Dragonfanger, welcome back to some more Let's Play Fable the Lost Chapters. Woo, it's good to, be, good to be back, everybody. Anyway, in the last episode, we watched as our entire town was burned to the ground. Yeah, I can't think of any song to go with that, but anyway, it was pretty tragic. But anyway, I had to do a redo of all everything, so I have to go back into the menu, unfortunately, and what in... Okay, I have to switch the camera control into inverted. Because I hate the, I hate how the camera's inverted. Now if you go left, you go left. You're right, and you go right. Anyway, the first thing you, you're going to want to do when you get to the guild is go into the, the library. Don't worry, you won't be stealing as a library. Anyway, if you pick up any of these books, you can go ahead and read them if you want. But I'm not going to, because these are going to be important later on in the game. So, I right, the four minutes. Woo! Yeah. Da, 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 tell the dragons. Creatures of Albion, the arena, and nothing interesting. <laughs> what are you talking to me for? Oh, stop. Really? Hang on, let me put this in the ground. I threw it on the No, it's not even funny. Uh no, stop. Oh, you can't look at that one. Okay. Over here. Nothing interesting. Nothing interesting. Nothing interesting. Nothing interesting. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's go. Alright. What's that guy doing? He's like, mm -hmm, going to take over the bro. I don't know. And I'm not sure what that accent's supposed to be. As you can see, we have zero gold. We have no weapon. We have no home. No hope. And life is great, right? Yeah! Can I hear an amen? Okay, whatever. Oh, there's an apple on the ground. Cool, looks like somebody threw it on the... Yeah, it's not... It. I'm gonna you stop. Finally pro All right, lad. It's time to see if you have any potential. Get in the ring. 
Sorry if I skip any of this dialogue, because it's so long. I'm trying to say video time. Jeez, okay. Anyway, you attack in this game by pressing the L button on the Xbox controller. This is a standard Xbox controller, you know, the first one. And you just press X. You just mash X in this part. It's not really that hard. Gee, if you can't mash X, then you have like, <laughs> problems. Here, try with this. Press the white button to equip the stick. Then attack the dummy with it by using X. Yep, same as before. If you don't have your stick or whatever weapon you have on, you'll attack it with your fists ah, by default. Now that's more like it. When you I'll explain this to you. When you defeat an enemy, it drops an experience orb. Whenever you collect these, you can learn more things in the guild. The more... Uh, the first thing you learn is going to be pretty weak. Uh, the second... There's, there's several stages of things you can learn. Like, for instance... We'll, we'll get to that later. I can't explain it without showing you. Now then, tomorrow we'll... That's the guild alarm. Sounds like there might be something loose in the woods. This is a good opportunity to test your spirit. I'll wait My you spirit? At the guild woods entrance. My While spirit, you huh? Hmm. Hmm. You know, in the bathroom. About starting your training. <laughs> it was random. Anyway. Oh. All right. Our first quest: melee combat test. We get twenty gold. Yep. You've started a new quest, yeah. Uh, if you want to look at your quests, you go ahead and click the back button on the controller, and you go to quests, and that's all there is pretty much to it. And there'll be a golden quest arrow. Probably should explain this now. Golden quest arrow will lead you to your next te uh, quest to progress the plot. A silver one, uh, a silver arrow, see that it's gold? A silver one will mean it's an optional quest just to get more experience and renown. Uh, Renown is the leveling of this game. See, if you're not f famous enough, you can't take certain quests. So you need to do things to become more famous to take those quests. You which is not really a problem in this game, because I'm going to show you how to get... This is the best walkthrough of this game I can think of. Because when I finished this game, I had over 200,000 gold. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of gold. Anyway, go ahead and mash. These are the first enemies of the game. Uh, you remember those... Uh, when that kid was asking you to bust those barrels back in Oakvale, uh, there was actually going to be a beetle in one, so you did not want to do that, because it's really annoying to fight one without your stick. Ugh. No innuendos here. Alright, we got done. <laughs> that was hard. Well done, lad. The beetles are all dead. You can come out of the woods now. Okay. <laughs> That was that was easy. Where's it easy? Where's the easy button when you need it, huh? All right. <laughs> Awkward silence. <laughs> How many coffee left? Yeah, I do. Mm, it's cold. Good work, lad. Uh, Skipping. I would, I do not approve cussing in my. LP. So, uh, but by the way, this is a rated M game. I might not have mentioned that, but yeah, it is. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, we're gonna want to progress. The boy's life. The memory of the Oakvale flames still scorched his mind, but soon he had no thought other than training, and he became stronger and more agile with every passing year. His days were filled with grueling exercises, the nights with study in the library. Finally, he was ready to become a guild apprentice, just as Maze had foreseen. The real training is about to begin. A uh, real training? Wait, we don't have a bow. Wait, we don't have a bow? It just showed us it showed us Get shooting a bow. We don't even have one. Are you, you again? To meet the guild master on the other side of the river. Yeah, I like my friend for. Him. Whoa! What? We better get going. What? Race you there. Is that us? That is me. That is me. Holy cow! How old am I? If you want to see how old you are, you go down to to statistics. I can never say that right. Go to personality, and we are 18 years old. Wow, we just skipped like a decade. Jeez, what is this? Awkward enough time. Anyway, go ahead and check these bookshelves again. Because last time, if you check them, nothing will be here. Or is it the next time you do it? Yeah, there's another book. I'm not trying to spoil anything, but you're going to need to collect at least 
20 books. No, sorry, 25 books for something later on, which I'm going to show you in a couple minutes because we're going to run by something that's pretty important. Doo, doo, doo. Anyway, you can go around the guild if you want. Uh, there's not really much to see. You know, the map pretty much tells you where it's, what's everywhere. You know, there's a bridge there. May, that's where Maze hangs out. He's over there. He's in there right now. He's just he, all he does is he's just standing there and he's like, Late again. Uh, all he'll you, say is, "No, boy, you're supposed you to report to the guild master." Away. We'll begin training with real weapons now. Real weapons now, Get huh? To the weight of his sword. And let's like, see if you can hit can't. whisper with it. Oh, whisper, huh? Okay. Well then. Come on then. Come on. Let's see what you've got, farm boy. That's that's what, that's what her voice should be, because it's whisper. Okay, but apparently we were supposed to hit her seven times. All right. Okay, this is something I should point out right now. You see how my the B button or the sword is glowing? This means you have a technique available to you called flourish. A flourish is an unblockable attack. So if you find an enemy that keeps blocking like this, go ahead and press the B button, and you'll just instantly go by go by any defense at all. Now pay attention. What I'm about to teach. Yes, yes, yes. He's just saying that if you press the Y button, then you can block any attack. You're completely invincible while doing this, except to other bulkier attacks. Like, for instance, if you're looking backwards, you he'll block that. Looking sideways, he'll block that. Looking the other way. Oop. Ouch. Well done. Now, let's see if you can combine the Who's that guy? Holy cow, dude. Ah, hello. Thunder. Name is Come Thunder? Oh. Uh, get ready to feel the thunder! Whisper there, I thought of a movie reference. A, with some farm boy. a farm boy? Maze Come on, boy dude, what's the matter? Potential. You don't like me Enough playing with Whisper? My whisper. <laughs> well, why don't we see? <sighs> whisper and the boy are just working on their melee skills now. Alright, children. Let's see who has learned the most in their... Yeah, he just says, you know, the rest of training, go ahead and block. You know, I'm itching my nose. Oh, my nose. Okay. She's, she's going to try to do a cheap shot with you. She's going to try to hit you before the screen even loads, which is really stupid. Anyway, you, you, you just go ahead and attack her like crazy. It doesn't matter. She's really easy. That's all wrong, Whisper. You need to practice more. Shame you couldn't see me fight in the arena. You might have learned a thing or two. Might have learned thing or if you want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to hear him talk. Then meet me by the archery range to continue your tra my training. Okay. See how everyone speaks slow motion. Anyway, go ahead and talk to him if you don't want to wait for him to get there. Let's continue our training with the bow. All right. To begin with, see if you can hit the hit three stationary targets. Yes, I hate how he talks so slow. All right, the bow. The bow is pretty easy to use. You know the fundamentals of the bow shooting. You can draw it with X, and the harder, the harder and longer you hold it down, the stronger the shot will be. Yes, harder, harder. Holding it down hard is really good because if you, if I don't even let go of the button, it'll just, it'll just let go of it like. Eh. And if you click down on the left analog stick, it'll do this, so you can zoom in and get a headshot, which is really nice. In my opinion. <laughs> well done. Yeah, hit all the targets. Yeah, he wants to see how much you can hit in half a minute. Let's go ahead and draw your bow and Yoink. Okay, I wanna I just wanna say if you get a high don't go over two hundred if you can help it. Because you wanna come back here for a bow and it's gonna be so tedious, I'm sorry, but it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. And I actually have a uh, clipboard here to write down the time of the uh, of when I have to. Ooh, man, I'm doing good. I never hit that back one with this bow. This is the one of the weak. This is the weakest bow that there is in the game. They give you the weakest, the second weakest weapon in the game, and the weakest bow. That's kind of bad, in my opinion. I mean, like, what can they? Well, I guess uh, I don't know. <laughs> don't mind me. I don't make sense. Okay, whatever, you know, you don't need to, you, all you need to get is 10 points, you don't need to go overboard. Yoink. You're gonna need to get, you're going to need to get over 250 for a new high score. So I'm just gonna sit here and do something. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do do that oh, in your skill test and I'll be most impressed. Oh never mind. Ignore me! Haha. -ha. Okay. Next we will learn about the, the ways. ways of the will, yes. This is the introduction of magic. Magical! Nobody's gonna know where this from. Anyway. Woo! Time to learn about willpower. willpower. So we'll begin by striking this shot of Mr. Lightning. Hooray! Alright. He instantly gives you a free spell, which is really nice. Uh, it's called a Lightning. Imagine you press the R button and you have a, every, like, a series of things available to you. For instance, if you click up on the D-pad, you can assign things to whatever you want. Like, for instance, you have Belge, you know, Far Beagle and everything. You have Flirt, you have Alignment, you have Kasak Dance, okay? For instance, what if you wanted to assign that so you don't have to go through this entire menu? Well, you see here, you can assign it to a different part of the D-pad. Like, if you want to assign it to down, it will be where... See, if you press the R button, it's there now. So you can do... Moscow, Moscow, I don't fucking where I I love that. that. That was not in the original version. What are all those green dots everywhere? Jeez, okay, anyway. Alright. That was a shocking experience. See how many you can hit in half a minute. Half a minute? Only attack dummies that are facing the center of the island. You won't get any points for hitting one in the back. You'll only waste valuable mana. Mana? Oh, I, I always call it. Yeah, it's mana. Yeah, you're gonna want to hit them while they're facing you. If you turn their back on you, you're just wasting your mana. As you, I never. Ooh, sorry. As you probably didn't know, mana is the bread that God gave Moses and his people on their way from Egypt. Why would they call magic mana? I, I never got that. Somebody, somebody, if somebody knows, put it in the comments below. <laughs> I guess. Jeez, almost up to a gigabyte of memory. I'm not used to that, all that. With fraps, I'm used to that. Like, oh man, it's only like 49, like 3 gigabytes. I'm like, oh cool, so I can just get it done. But now it's almost... Oh wait, no, what am I talking about? Okay. Do. Real training? Yeah. Very good, lad. Alright. You, you want to say no to this. You want to go ahead and say no. And you want to go and... Uh, there's two things you can do. There's one thing over here that I would recommend not doing because it's such a waste of time. He, if you, he'll put you through a test with Whisper. If you defeat her and get a good score without getting hit, you can get hit once, I think. If you don't get hit enough times, you can get a free sword. It does two more damage than the sword you have now. I don't recommend doing that. This, however, I recommend doing because you get a bow that does 20 more damage, but there is a drawback. <laughs> get it? Drawback because of the bow? Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do this, and I'll meet you once I get that bow. It's probably going to be really dark when I get that, too, so I'm going to go ahead and catch you later. Okay, I'm back. I think I got it too. Wow. You, you set a new high score. Okay. Wow. I've never seen any better than that. You've got an A plus. The guildmaster said. Yeah, I'm back. Shot oh, by million, the way, I'm back. <laughs> All right, we got the U crossbow. This is a really nice crossbow to have. I wouldn't recommend uh, equipping it yet. You'll see why soon. Now I'm going to show you how to get back to the. Uh, to the, uh, what is it called? The map room? <laughs> Jeez, I can't talk. Anyway, there's several other things you can do here. I would not I would not do them if I were you. They're just a waste of time. Like, you would not believe how much of a waste of time they are. I'm just going to go ahead and talk to the gun master to progress the plot. The boy mastered the skills quickly, but there was always more to learn. For years, the guild was his home, his school, and his life. But as time passed, his thoughts returned always to the world outside. The life he had lost, the family that had been torn from him. At last, only the final day of tests remained. Success would mark the end of his training. He would receive the guild seal and be free to forge his own destiny. He would become a hero. Before you graduate, there is one final test you must complete. Oh, another and test. Big this. surprise. Oh, my lord. The top of the hill. Okay. Ugh. How old are we now? Are we old? Are we like 20 years old? Or are we still like 18? We were 18. You were 18. Of course we are. We have 70 gold, though. That's pretty cool. 
can and eat. Oh wow, everyone's still exactly where they are. I guess if you want, you can go get that sword if you want now. Uh, there is a man out. There is a, a magic test you can do. All you get is a potion. It's really just not worth it. Just, it's not. It's not. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I haven't been making very many jokes. The jokes are going to get better every time because I'm kind of like concentrating on tutorials for you guys and stuff. You know, the basics, you know, laying them down. Like, oh, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to say it. I suppose <laughs> that was amazing. Get it? Because he's amazing. It's simple. Shut up. I'm not fun, funny, I swear. What? You've learned in your years of training. What? And we'll begin with your sword. Hit me if you can. Uh okay, come on in. <laughs> Jeez. All right, I'm about to end off the video anyway. I was right. Where is he? Okay, there he is. Did know it's coming in the door. There he is. He's maze. He's amazing. Attack me. And, and stuff here. I'm going to hit him. Hi -ya! See what I told you, you he can't block you. He's not as amazing as you thought, because his name is Maze. Very good. Now. Oh, I like what he says here. Shoot me with your bow, and uh, don't get too close. Just like, eh, don't get too close. <laughs> oh, per se. I don't know how to per se. Okay, this is why I said do not do not equip the crossbow, because equipping the crossbow is like takes like a s like two seconds to reload, so you can just spam your arrows to get to this quickly. And then if you want. Do that, and then equip it while it's in mid cycle. You cross. Well, see, 60, 80, big difference. Trust me, I'm a pro. Excellent. And finally, cast lightning at me. We're getting tired, old man. Okay, what right behind me, dude? Just spam your lightning. Doesn't matter how you do it. Hopefully, it won't teleport away. That's enough. Yes. Quite impressive for a novice. You will find real battles. Rather more fatal than this. But you have passed your final test. And you're ready to receive your guild seal from the guild master. 